another chest x-ray supine 20 years old man died as a result of gunshot wound this is a post mortem x-ray the most prominent thing that you see in this x-ray is this bullet in superior mediastinum at the level of first thoracic vertebra with the tip projecting over inferior part of seventh cervical vertebra more towards the left hand side of the patient how do we know this is first thoracic vertebra because first ribs right rib and left rib are attached to it can we tell entry point of the bullet well if you look closely second left rib and third left rib both are fractured probably first rib is also fractured so patient was hit on the left side and this is the path of the bullet here other findings on this x-ray is a collapsed left lung which is surrounded by fluid density there's a big gap between rib cage and lung here not only the lung is collapsed but left hemidiaphragm which should be here is also pushed downwards and is not visible on this film also mediastinum that includes heart is pushed towards the right hand side of the patient in case of bullet injury fractured ribs collapsed lung what could be thing that is pushing mediastinum towards the right hand side and the left hemidiaphragm downward well it can only be blood which is the condition is known as hemothorax in medical language this part of thorax is filled with blood heme means blood the findings were confirmed uh, with the help of autopsy where 2200 milliliter of blood was found in plural cavity also considering the path of the bullet you can easily guess the structures that would have been damaged this is an area where you have subclavian vessels this is an anterior posterior view or AP view means x-ray film was on the posterior or back side of the patient and x-rays came from the anterior or front side we cannot really tell how far deep the bullet is we need a lateral view this is a lateral view this is the anterior side of the patient posterior side of the patient this is humerus and you can easily see bullet is on the anterior side of the patient it did not damage any vertebra here this is right hemidiaphragm which is also clearly visible here and left hemidiaphragm is not visible in both films I would like to thank Dr. Paul J. Cunningham who is a radiologist and has uploaded these images on this website thank you very much to both the lecture is prepared for the www.academyofprofessionals.com Thank you very much.